welcome to mes e learning channel today in this session we will study about uh, different types of component that are used in bi system so your bi system it basically deals with data information and knowledge so these are the three things on which our bi system works now first of all before uh, understanding the concept we will first understand what is the basic idea about data information and knowledge so if we start with our first section that is data so data is nothing but it is a raw information raw data that it is in it is available in a raw format second is your information information basically we apply some sort of processing on our data and then we can generate information out of it third is our knowledge knowledge is nothing but simply we are utilizing this information in various format so that is what is knowledge if we understand this with a simple example so let us understand there is a paragraph which has been given in to us now in this from that paragraph if we read one word so that word will be nothing but it will be a data from that word we will not be able to understand anything but when we study or when we read the entire statement or a complete statement so that statement is nothing but your information so from that statement we will we may come to know about the, uh, a basic thing about that paragraph and when we uh, read the entire paragraph then from that paragraph we will come to know some sort of knowledge what is been explained in that paragraph so that is what is basic idea about your data information and knowledge so data is nothing or it is available in a raw format we process that data we apply various uh, processing techniques on to it then we generate information and from that information we can convert that information into in a format of knowledge now whenever we deal with our business intelligence we need to understand different Con com components that a bi intelligence is made up of so here we will in this section we will see the main components that are used in bi system so for this there is a, a pyramid pyramid diagram is available which is divided into six section starting from the bottom and reaching to the topmost portion of the pyramid so at the bottom section we have data source just above the data source we have database or we can also say data mart above that we have data exploration techniques then we have op data mining then optimization techniques and lastly we have our decision so these are the six components which are there in our bi system it starts from bottom and we need to reach to the final portion final top top of the pyramid which is decision when we talk about data source now data source can be anything it can be primary data or it can be in a format of secondary data primary data which we collect or which which is uh, originally collected by some person that is primary data secondary data which means that which is already available and we are just utilizing that data okay so data source can be anything it can be ex it can be primary data or secondary data which can be generated from different different sources it can be external source or it can be internal source so so this is what is nothing but your data source so data source can be primary secondary or it can be external or internal data source now once this data is been collected once the data is been collected second comes your database so whatever data we had collected in our data source phase that is using uh, primary technique primary or secondary technique we need to now generate a database out of it so what we do we just apply basic etl tool which stands for extraction transformation and loading we apply this technique of etl and try to make a database once this database or data mart is been ready then we will move to the third part of the pyramid which is data exploration now data exploration is basically it is also known as it is also known as passive bi analysis data exploration techniques are also known as passive bi analysis now what happens over here in passive bi analysis we apply
So, in passive BI analysis, we apply basic analysis tool such as visualization technique and we try to understand we try to understand what content is available in our database. So, passive BI analysis we just try to apply some basic visualization techniques or we can also apply some basic statistical tools also to understand our data. This is the third stage of our uh, components of BI system. We move to the fourth part, fourth part is nothing but our data mining. Now, in data mining it is also known as active BI analysis. Here we perform some sort of analysis which include pattern recognition, which also include machine learning into it and we apply these techniques and try to find out the hidden patterns that are available in our data. So, this is these are the tasks that we do under data mining. Moving to the fifth part that is optimization. In under optimization at this stage now we are available n number of solutions which we can use to solve the problem that is faced by the company. Now, but under optimization we will be choosing the top best solution which we can utilize. Okay? Top best solutions are segregated and they are considered. Moving to the last one that is decision. So, after the optimization phase we are we have been segregated best solution. Now, from those best solution we have to use or utilize one solution which we can consider that as a decision which can be used to solve the problem. So, these are the six main components of any business intelligence system. Again, we had started with data source data source basically it can be data related to any problems that is faced by the company which can be internal data or it can be external data. Second we had seen database or you can say data mart. So, database or data mart is nothing but we are just applying ETL tool on our data source. We are applying ETL tool on our data source and we are trying to make database. Third, we had seen that data exploration. So, here we, we apply basic statistical tool and basic statistical tool and visualization techniques to, to understand the data properly. Fourth, we had seen data mining here, which this is all data mining is also known as active uh, BI analysis. Here, we try to apply some uh, latest technologies such as pattern recognition machine learning tool and try to figure out the hidden patterns from the data. Fifth, we saw the optimization. So, here we choose the best solution that are available to solve the problem. And sixth one is the decision. This is nothing but the final decision that is being made to uh, solve the problem. So, these are the highlights of the topic that we had covered till now. See you in the next session.